So since this place is a cultural place, you need to have, in case you're in pants, you have to get something to tie around. So it's going to put this around me. What is the, what was the Kasubi Tombs? What is it about? Uh, Kasubi Tomb is a cultural place, uh -huh. uh, which where we are. We are having the last four kings of Uganda. Oh, the last four kings. Uh, where they were buried. Oh. It's called a tomb just because of a burial ceremony of the king, last four kings of Uganda. Okay. Who are the last four kings of uh, Uganda? Uh, we are going to know them. We are going to learn them. Uh -huh. when we are out of their way. Okay. Cool. So this is me, Nakal. So, um, yeah. I don't have a few uh -huh. and uh, this one's for free. Uh -huh. So, I'm in one so the entry fee to this place is 30,000 that is less than $10 Yes. Uh, so you most welcome to Buganda Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, the place is called Kasubi Royal Tombs. Yeah. It's under Buganda Kingdom. Uh huh. And uh, it is owned by one of the kings of Buganda. Yeah. Uh, that king was called, called Mutesa. Uh -huh. um, Mutesa the first. So Mutesa established this palace in 1882. That's when he brought his capital here. And when he was here, this very house that we're standing in. This was his first house. However, it looks like this, but this was a king's house. This was the first house to be built in this Paris, and it was built in 1882. Uh -huh. This house is original. It has never been touched since 1882. The interior it has been in existence for 136 years. Wow. Yet it was built in only one single day yeah. by a lot of people the, who are called the Baganda. Yeah, so the Baganda did this house for the king because his coming here was on an emergency. He had his previous palace at a place called Lubaga. Uh -huh. So in Lubaga there, that place was spread with such flies, which used, which used to cause sleeping sickness. So he said, bring this capital here. And then when he brought his capital here, this, is what, this was his uh, first house. So the king lived in this house for a while just because the house was small. Yet he had a lot of people around him. Yet he had a lot of uh, he lived here for a while just because uh, the house was small. He had, a, he had a lot of people around him. So they decided to build him another big house, which is the main house or the main tombs now. Uh -huh. So he left this house and then he went this, to this house. Okay. After leaving this house, he gave it to other two people who are the caretakers right now. And those people are called the spiritual guides. Okay. So there are people who are living here. They are responsible of guiding the spirits of the kings. Okay. This is the only place in Africa where we are having four kings being buried in the same house. Okay. And that makes it unique from other places that, okay. that we have in Africa. So, um, uh, Buganda Kingdom is a clan-based kingdom. Uh, we are having what we call clans. And the clans in Buganda is just a group of people who come from the same lineage. Though they don't come from the same biological father and mother, but they are, they are like a family. So Buganda is comprised of 52 clans, and our clans ranges from different aspects. There are people who come from animals, like the buffaloes, lions, monkeys, others who come from crops, whatever. So in Buganda, if you're coming from an edible clan, yeah. you're not supposed to eat your clan. It's a taboo for you to eat your clan. Oh, yes. so if you come from the clan of a cow, you cannot eat a cow? Yes, you have to protect your clan. Oh, oh those are the ones that are in Kabaka yeah. and Jagala Road. Kabaka and Jagala Road. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, those are those are those are. Oh, yeah, those represent the, the clan. clan. Okay. 
Kila. Clan, 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 a clan. Okay. Yes. So, uh, here in this house here, those clans are represented by these rings you see. Uh -huh. Each clan has to be with a ring. We are having 52 clans, there have to be 52 rings. But these are not 52 rings, just because the size of the house is small. But okay. this house here, the main tombs, uh -huh. inside it has 52 rings. rings, which represent the 52 clans of Buganda. Okay. So still in Buganda, if you're coming from the same clan, let's say a boy and a girl, uh -huh. you become brothers and sisters, you cannot marry. Okay. So I cannot marry someone who, who comes from my, my clan. Do you still practice that today? Yes, up to, up to date. Hey. If I meet someone, a girl, who is from, who she's from my clan, hey. I cannot marry her because okay. she's my sister. Okay, and with all the modernization and all that, do people still know like which clan they belong to? Yes, they, everyone know. They do. They know just because um, we are identified by our cultural names. Oh, the names and, of different yes, clans and, are different. Uh, we take uh, in Buganda, someone belongs, a child belongs to the uh, to the father's side. Oh, okay. Let's say if I give birth to my children, they have to belong to my side, not the mother, because the mother has she has also to have uh, her own clan. Okay. Yes. So we get we identify we identify ourselves by our cultural names. All right. For example, I'm called Kalema. Uh -huh. Kalema is my cultural name. So if I meet someone called Nakalema, a girl, she's my sister. Sister. Yes. All right. So this is our current king of Buganda. This and is the current king of uh, Buganda. The current king of Buganda and the official queen of Buganda. They have their own Paris at a place called um, Alubaga. So, sorry, a place called uh, Banda along Ginger Road. Okay. That's why they do stay with the uh, Queen of Buganda. And this Paris was owned by this king here. Yeah, sorry. King Mutesa the first. Yeah. So he established this Paris like I told you 1882. Uh -huh. In 1884, then he died. Okay. When he died, he was buried in this house here. Okay. So uh, this uh, now the, the old place turned to be called a tomb, but before it was a palace of him. Okay. So after his death. Uh, his son took over the kingdom. Uh, this is his son called um, King Mwanga. Uh, this is a son to him. Okay. So this one had his own palace at, uh, at a place called Mengo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, that's where he was. That's where he had his own palace. Okay. Have you ever heard of the Uganda Matters? Yes. So those, those Uganda Matters are people who were killed because of converting into Christianity. And it was during this reign, this one's reign, who it was his orders. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we always commemorate that they are their death at a place called Namgo. Which, which, which uh, religion were they? They were Christians. They are at, before, before the coming of missionaries, we only had tra traditional, traditional religion. Yeah. Oh, so they didn't so want the. the, the tri so this one did not want them to, to change, change to from Christianity. The, yeah, they yes, wanted yeah. to maintain the traditional. The tradition, yes. Oh, Thank okay. you. Yeah. So after he died, he was replaced by his son. Uh, his son is here. Uh, here they are in order. Yeah. Uh, this one is Mutesa, the other one. Uh -huh. After Mutesa Mwanga, after Mwanga, this is David Chua. Uh -huh. Now the son to this one, he became a king at an early age, he was only six months, very young. Uh -huh. And um, he, Why, because he died? No, like, uh, I know, uh, this one, uh -huh. you know, he liked, uh, f when during his reign, he liked uh, making a lot of wars uh -huh. with the other kingdoms. Uh -huh. So one time he was, he was uh, like he was exiled at a place called Seychelles Island in the Indian Ocean. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah. When, when he was in exile, of course Buganda, Buganda as, a, uh, as a kingdom had to have another king. So they appointed his young son okay. at, on the, at the age of only six, ma six, uh, months. six months. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he grew for most of European countries and when he was Euro in Europe he was much exposed. Uh -huh. He's the king who introduced football game. Uh -huh. in, in Uganda. Uh -huh. So, okay. uh, he's the king who allowed women in Uganda to start eating chicken, eggs, plus the grasshoppers. Uh -huh. Before women in Uganda weren't allowed to eat all those, those stuffs. Okay. Yeah, so he died of diabetes and then after his death, he was buried near his, his father in this house here. And okay. then uh, after his death, his son, he was replaced by his son yeah. called King Motes. Uh, he's the same here. Yeah. Uh, this is called King Mutesa the second. Okay. This is Mutesa the first, this is Mutesa the second. So now this one meant to be the first president of Uganda, in the history of Uganda. Ah. So the first president of Uganda was uh, Amuganda. Uh, Amuganda. Amuganda, yes. So he was the first president of Uganda, uh, but by that time he, was, he had his prime minister who was called uh, Obote. Obote, was Obote. Yes. So yeah. He was his prime minister. 
So Obote became jealous of him because he owned too big position mm-hmm. and Obote connived with Idi Amin Adaba because mm-hmm. by that time Idi Amin Adaba was the chief of army. Uh-huh. So they went and attacked him in the other parts of Mengo. He was defeated and then he went he ran into exile in England where he died from. Oh, Later okay. his brother was back to Buganda. And then he was also buried in this house. So he's the father to the current king king of Buganda. Ah. Yes. So they do come from the same lineage as you see. Father, fa- father, son, father, son. Okay. Yeah. So he's the father to the current king of Buganda, as okay. you see here. So this is the current king of yes, Buganda. Yes. Uh, yeah. Currently. Yeah. Okay. So in case he dies, his young, his young prince becomes the next king of Buganda. What if he does not have a son? The they get us. They get sons from his brothers. Oh, from his brothers. One. Yes. Okay. Or his brother. Are they paid by the government salary? How do they make? Are they? How do they make money? The kings. Ah, uh, like for the kingdom of Buganda, it ca like it has it is it is it has a lot of uh, wealth. Oh, this terms, wealth. Yeah, in uh-huh. terms of land, you know, most of the land in in Uganda, oh, it belongs okay. to Buganda kingdom. So it's the first child that becomes king, the first boy child. Not necessarily. Uh, any of the, the child. The end of the child after making some kind of riches. Okay. Kind of riches. All right. Yes. Okay, let's go. So, uh, this is called the Royal Drum House. Uh-huh. And this Royal Drum House, because of the cultural issues, uh-huh. ladies do not enter this house. Okay. It doesn't, uh, it's just a cultural. Uh-huh. And uh, we are going to see what is inside and later I will let you know the reason as to why ladies don't enter, enter okay. this house. Okay, cool. Yes, so let's come and see and have a look at whatever is inside here. Hey. So I have to stop here. Yeah, you stop here for him. You can enter. Oh, you can enter. So um, uh, these drums, you see, they are they are in 100 years and plus 147 years. Eh? Very old. Eh? Uh-huh. They are used for communications on three occasions. Uh-huh. There is um, a category of these drums which is played to announce the death of any person from the royal family. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And let's say if the kind king dies, they will have to play. Uh-huh. For him, these drums. Okay. And then there is another category of these drums which is played to announce um, in the case there is any alive of any person from the royal family. Let's say if you were a princess from Buganda, the moment you had come here, they will have to play for you that these drums. So on your alive, they play as an, as you also live in Paris, they have to play for you these drums. And then the third category of these drums for them are played in case there is any kind of celebrations. Let's say if there is a newborn baby, royal wedding, a birthday. Of do the they party. still do it today? He, even up to date, there's a person, there's a specific, a specific person who's responsible to play these drums using these six here. Uh-huh. Yeah, so these drums are, uh, are played by uh, one person at a go. Like who comes from a specific clan? Buganda has 52 clans, but you find each clan has its own duty that it does. Oh, okay. So there's, this person comes from a clan called the Rugave clan. Uh-huh. Lugave. That is the Luganda name, Lugave. In English, we call it a pangolin clan. Uh-huh. It's a small animal. Yeah. Oh, pangolin. Pangolin, uh-huh. yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the clan he comes from. So it's called Kaula. Yes, Kaula. He's the one who's responsible to play these drums. And then, you know Mgumo tree? Yes, I know Mgumo tree. Thank you. You see this? Yeah. You've seen this before? No. Uh, it's... Um, out of Mgumo tree, the skin of Mgumo tree. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's called a back cloth. Mm-hmm. Uh, this in Buganda, we like it so much because it has various activities. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, this, before Western culture, we used to make our clothes out of this. Okay. It is used for burial ceremonies, it is used for uh, like blankets, it is used for paintings even. Can I touch it? You can touch. Ah. Oh. So how do you use it blanket because it's not soft? Hey, hey. Because hey. this this one has this one is so well, so 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 old. Hey. It has been here for so many but the, if you buy an if they get a new one, and it's soft. Yeah, it is soft and then it is much much bigger. Okay. It's destroyed. Oh. Uh, too much fires. Uh-huh. Uh so this is how it looked before it's burning inside. Oh, uh, so this is the inside. Uh, yes, the inside having the rings, the 52 rings. Yeah. It look like it looks like a, an overturn basket having rings around it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. all these artifacts we are burned down and then we are destroyed by too much fires. So inside the other side, you know the house is divided into two sections. You know, though it is a circular form. Yeah. There's this part where we used to take visitors around here, mm-hmm. and then there's the other downer part. 
Uh -huh. So the another section of there, that house, that's where the four king's bodies are. Oh, okay. They are covered the other side behind there. Can someone go there? It is, it is only the two the spiritual guides. Oh. Uh, who, are, who enters there, uh, where the bodies are exactly. Eh. Uh, yes, but only are, the spiritual guides. Yes, because okay. they do perform some kind of rituals. Okay. Around, yeah. So when you look around, you see, hey, I had forgotten. Please enter that house. The reason as to why ladies don't enter that, the royal drum house, it is because when this king came here, uh -huh. He married a lot of wives. Uh -huh. He married 84. 84 wives? 84 wives, yes. And uh -huh. those 84 are the official ones. Uh -huh. He had other concubines out. Uh -huh. So, uh, due to the fact that he had, he had a lot of wives, in that house there, the royal drum house, there used to be a man who was playing these drums for him at night in his, in his big house there. So, the king was scared. He thought maybe some of the wives might escape from this courtyard go and enter the other house where, where there is another man and then, then they have sex there. So I had to put an order not to allow all ladies to enter there. And the reason as to why we don't allow even if you're coming from any other country outside Uganda, it is because whoever comes here, she becomes a wife to the king until when she leaves the Paris here. Oh, so right now I'm, I'm the wife of the king? Yeah, until when you leave the Paris. Hey. So you're now a wife of the king. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> That's why, yeah. no, my husband is a king. Yeah. <laughs> so all these houses, what about the... So the houses which are here, these are houses of the 84 wives. Oh, so we're okay. having 84 houses, 84 wives here. 84 houses. Yeah, these ones which are around here, yeah. these are the most loved wives. Okay. So the king liked this one so much among other wives. But uh -huh. there are other wives. So there are people who are living here. The wives still with this king. But these are just descendants. Okay. Of the original wives, yes. Wow. So some of them are here. They are married, some of them. Uh -huh. But if they are here, they are not supposed to sleep with their husbands here. Oh. No man is allowed to sleep over here. Oh. Except that those two spiritual guides only. They can sleep with women here. And no, no, no. They don't have to sleep with the women. Uh. But they are the ones who are allowed to sleep in their parish. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. oh, these are part of the wives who died. Uh. Yeah, but they are only from the same, from this house here. We are having a lot of cemeteries. So that in case these wives die, uh -huh. they are buried beside their houses. Okay. And in case one dies, um, uh, they go to her, they go back to her family and then they get her, her sister, she comes and then replaces her. Each wife here has her own duty that she does in this parish here. Yes. Up to this moment? Up to this moment, yes. Hey, what if the sister refuses to come? Sorry? What if the sister refuses to come? Of course. Uh, so does, does the sister move along with the family? Or uh, she just, no. in case she's married somewhere else? Not really, unless yeah. she has children who are still young. Uh -huh. move with them. But the husband, out. Oh, it's only the ladies? Yes, husbands are not allowed. No man, even men, don't sleep here. Eh. Even him cannot sleep here, but for you can sleep here. Eh. Yes, because you're a wife of the king. So you're not allowed to sleep over here. Hey, yes. for once I, I, I'm a wife of a king. I've no... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Interesting. <laughs> Muslim. Yes. Yes, Muslims are buried in a different way. Ah. Yeah, that's where you're seeing the Okay. So this is the Royal Cemetery. The Royal Cemetery? Yeah, this is where they bury uh, sons and daughters of the kings. Uh huh. Prince and princesses. So for the kings are buried in this big house here. Uh huh. Yeah, that one. The wives are buried beside their houses. So sons and daughters of the king. For them, this is their area now. So this parish is so big. Yeah. It is on 64 acres. Hey. It goes up to down. Then it goes around, around as you saw the fence, the fence as you are coming. Oh yeah, I yes, saw a yeah, fence. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's it. So 64 acres. So due to, due to the fact that a king married 84. Yeah. She gave each wife her own plot to cultivate their own crops. Okay. Those are some of the gardens of the wives. Alright. Mm. And what's here? Uh, in here there is a, a prince also. That is a prince. Mm -hmm. But it's quite different from these others who are here just because uh, he's called Prince Simba David Alexander. Uh -huh. And um, he, was, he was the first ambassador in Uganda. Uh, an ambassador in Uganda, but he was representing Uganda in UK. Okay. So an ambassador in UK, but he represented Uganda. Okay. So he was a brother to this king here. 
that one was a brother to this one. Okay. He was an elder brother to this one. Okay. So, remember this one was the first king of Buganda? Mm. Uh, sorry, the first president of Uganda. The, yeah, the first president. So he made his brother to be the first ambassador in Uganda also. Ah. Yes. from these other houses which are here. Why? That house you see that it meant to be the first modern, modern house in Uganda. Hey. When I talk of modernity, I mean it meant to be the first house to have those kind of the iron sheets uh -huh. in all of Uganda. This is the house. Oh, this is the first house to have, have iron, iron sheets, sheets in, in, Uganda. in Uganda. Wow. In Uganda. Yeah. And yes, in Uganda. So, and then it also meant to be the first house to be built in that. Square the form in Uganda. Uh, in Uganda. Oh, because in Uganda, the previous Uganda. ones were round, yes, like the yes, circular. Uh, yes, thank you. Those ones. Yeah. So it is a house of the first wife of the king. Ah. Uh, eighty-four. Okay. She's called Kadurova. What's inside? This is yeah, that's just a house of the house there. They, they are It's just a, like a store now, because she's there's a caretaker, but she doesn't sleep in there. Oh, uh, okay. She uses this one because it, you see it is in a sorry state. Yeah. So someone cannot sleep in there. So they could be married at the time they want. And this is how they used to marry. Whenever they had their journeys, mm -hmm. and they were as they were moving their journeys, and they spot a beautiful lady mm -hmm. who could just tell his subjects, uh -huh. bring that beautiful lady to his place. What if the lady refuses? They wouldn't refuse. They would kill her. Oh, if the king wanted you and you refuse, they kill you. What if you run away? It was very difficult for someone to refuse a king. Do you know? Do you know how <laughs> how much that respect can you gain? But he, what if he's old and I'm young? Of course, the king. Of course, the king. They used to, to marry young young girls, virgin ones. So those that's like the issue of sponsorship. So sponsors started way back. <laughs> marrying a rich man because he's rich. Marrying an old man because he's rich. And he has wealth, that's like and even sponsorship. If, uh, and even if uh, the lady was married, hey. uh, and the king had got her, uh -huh. the responsibility of her, of her, of the husband, uh -huh. to bring gifts to the king for having chosen her wife among other wives. And do you think, uh, like now the ladies who stay here, you say they are family, they, they are in that lineage of the yes. king, the kings, the wives and all that? Yes, they are descendants of that. Descendants. Oh, yes. Do they wear trousers? Now that you told me I needed to wear pants. Of course here yeah, they don't. Pants. You they see? don't unless when they're out of the Paris. Oh, so they cannot so wear when they're in this compound. And but then wrap. Yes, and then they Oh, when they step outside, they... they, they... Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yes, yes. So the very first Kabaka, was he Muslim? Uh, no. Or where did Islam come from? Since it's, I think, the religion and all cultural practices, they come down from the great 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 grandparents so yes. who among them because i've even seen in the tombs there are some who are muslims yes, so do. how did it happen because as you can see the other king was opposing uh people from changing into other religions yes. yeah so this this uh most of the uh it was only this mutesa first yeah who kept on changing so when the Arabs came yeah to africa Uganda specifically because of the trade he decided to change Mm -hmm. Become a Muslim as a way of enticing them oh. yes, to do the to do to do business business with them. Okay. Then after, he, then again, then he took his turn. So after that, that's when he built the mosque. Yes, that, that mosque yeah. Okay. Was the first mosque to be built in Uganda. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about the Buganda Kingdom. This was very detailed and really good. Kindly make sure you subscribe in case you haven't done so. Tap the bell for notifications so that you can always get notified when I'm posting. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.